Okay, grade nines, have a look here. This is your second exercise. Tab stops, okay. Um, right, where do we begin? First of all, on page one, you've got some instructions, all right? You've got use tab stops to format page two according to the following measurements. So let's have a look. We have three measurements. We have a left aligned tab stop at one centimeter, a left aligned tab stop at 8.5 centimeters, and a right aligned tab stop at 16 centimeters. So what you're going to do is make sure you can see your ruler. So just like the previous exercise, make sure you've got your ruler on. It should be on by now. And over here, you've already looked at your notes. Yes? Yes, you have. Here is where we choose our tab stop. So there's a left aligned tab stop. It looks like an L. So let's go to one centimeter over there. Click click there we go and it's got the L by one that's one is done left aligned tab stop again at 8.5 so let's go find 8.5 click perfect and a right aligned tab stop at 16 so we need to change this over here right aligned tab stop 16 okay that's it it's really easy so that's what you're going to do on the next page are you with me Right, let's have a look at the next page. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll Oh, by the way, you've got a demo. Okay, you have a PDF demo document to look at, so don't stress. Okay, so page two, here we go. We have the movie, the release date, and worldwide earnings. Now you'll notice there's like no spaces here, so you might wanna just fix that, okay. Just, that's better. Here we go, here we go. So, first things first, a left aligned tab stop. Do you remember how many centimeters? Of course you do, it's one. The next one was eight, oh, I forgot, eight and a half. Eight and a half, there it is there. And then a right aligned tab stop, there we go. We'll put that at 16 centimeters. So let's see if this works, okay. Press tab key once, movie jumps to one centimeter. Release date, do you see I click by release date? Tab, boom, 8.5 centimeters. Worldwide earnings, right aligned at 16. So now you're going to do the same for the rest of the rows. Can I give you a tip? This is going to save you a whole whack of time. Do you see this row here? Or this line? We've already got the formatting done that we need. We've already got the tab stops in place. So while you are in this line over here, go ahead and click Format Painter. In the Home tab, Format Painter. You with me? You click Format Painter. Now you'll notice your cursor becomes the eye beam with a little paintbrush icon. You can now paint the format from this row, line, sorry, over the rest of your content. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna drag. I'm not gonna let go of my mouse button just yet. Drag to the end and release. Now, although you didn't see anything happen, if you take a look and you click in any of these lines, look in the ruler, the tab stops have been applied to all of the content that we selected when we, when we were using the Format Painter. So all you have to do, it's the easiest thing, is just hit the Tab key. Tab, Tab, Tab. I'll do the next row, line. Oh my goodness, I've got to stop saying row. And uh, there. Do you see? Super easy. And then this, of course, you're going to make bold, control B, and don't press underline in one go while everything's selected because it's underlining the whole row, line. I've got to stop seeing row. And if you double click on the word, control U, or select it, and then your little quick pop up there, just the underline, or in your, you see, there's always more than one way. All right, go ahead and do the rest. Good luck.